today we will see some interesting examples related to grouping of data and histogram Thirty eight contestants participated in a dance competition. Here are their scores out of fifty. Represent them in a frequency distribution table and draw a histogram for the grouped data. To create a frequency distribution table, we will create three columns. The first column will show the class interval of the score. The second column will show the tally marks, and the third column. will show the number of contestants which will show the frequency of the class interval now we will choose the class interval can you tell me the class interval we can take here think think let me tell you we see that the smallest observation is 21 and the largest observation is 48 So we have to construct class intervals in such a way that we can represent these numbers effectively. Here we will make class intervals like this. You can see that the class size is same here. You can also create class intervals like this, but from the first method we can get more clear information. Then we will take the scores one by one and represent it using the tally marks in the appropriate class interval here 25 is included in these two class intervals keep in mind that common observation will always be included in the higher class interval so 25 will be represented in the class interval 25 to 30 in this way we will create tally marks for all numbers after this we will count the tally marks from which we will find the frequency of the class interval we will mark it in the third column in this way we have made a frequency distribution table let us now draw a histogram with the help of frequency distribution table draw two mutually perpendicular lines on the paper the horizontal line is the x axis and the vertical line is the y axis we will show the score on the x axis here we make a kink sign to state that we are not showing scores from 0 to 20 here the difference in the upper class limit and the lower class limit of each class interval that is the width or size of each class interval is same therefore we will mark the class intervals by keeping the same distance on the horizontal axis Similarly we will show the number of competitors on the y axis by taking one unit is equal to two contestants the greatest frequency in the frequency distribution table is 10 so we can take the number of contestants on the y axis one unit more than it that is 12 now we will represent the frequency of each class interval in the form of length of the bars For example, to represent the frequency of the class interval twenty to twenty-five, we will draw a bar whose length will be seven contestants. Similarly, we will show the frequency of all class intervals. Keep in mind that we will keep the width of the bars equal and will not keep any distance between the bars. Next example, find out by reading the histogram shown. What information does this histogram display? The histogram shows how many hours class 8 students spend in studies. Find the number of students studying for 4 or more hours. Here, two class interval 4 to 6 and 6 to 8 represent the number of students who study more than 4 hours. Looking at the class interval 4 to 6 and the length of the bar drawn above it, it can be understood that there are 20 students who study 4 or more than 4 hours but less than 6 hours similarly the class interval 6 to 8 and its length of bar shows that there are 5 students who study 6 or more hours 
but less than 8 hours. In this way, the number of students studying for 4 or more hours is 25. So today we have seen some examples related to grouping of data and histogram. In the next video, we will see the misconceptions and simple mistakes related to them. them. them.